Hello. So, uh, one video before we get into the Z-axis, uh, and the reason is you kind of have to know about this page, which is the latch page, before we get into the Z, because it sort of affects how the Z can function. Uh, so, the way you get to latch is to just push a button again. Oh, and let me just you know, iterate how we're set up here. We have one clock to the X clock. I'm only using the X channel because this sort of applies across the board to Y and C. Uh, so I have my uh, control voltage going to the one volt per octave to give me notes. I have the gate going to this function generator to give me an envelope. And then it's just, you know, sawtooth to filter, low pass to uh, VCA. And then, you know, my function generator is creating the envelope on the VCA. Uh, so the way you get to the latch page is you push the button again. So, you know, if you're trying to latch X, you push X again, Y, etc. cetera. Uh, and then you see all five um, page buttons are lit up here. So everything's lit up white. Um, and what this does is it freezes whatever you choose. Um, so to make this make sense, here's my little sequence. And if I choose a note, it's just going to stick on that note. Um, so why would we want this? Um, mostly for tuning in this particular method. It's going to have a different function when we get into the z-axis, but um, this lets you tune notes. Um, so you can hear it, you know, with the, you know, with the way the Rene works, it's sort of like hard to get notes sometimes. So this like makes it really easy for that. Um, and you can also use this as sort of a compositional tool. You can like build stuff out from it. Okay. So one other thing to be aware of is latch overrides access. So if we're on our access page, You'll recall if I turn off one of these buttons, we lose that step. Okay? And you can see my sequence is skipping across these four steps in the middle. If we go to latch and we latch those four steps, that's all we're getting. Okay. Um, so just be aware of that, um, and that'll play. Obviously, it's roll later um, when we talk about the z-axis and as we're stepping sort of front to back through sequences. Um, and, you know, the z is really where the um, rabbit hole begins with this sequencer because you can kind of, like, create infinitely um, changing sequences. Uh, so I hope this gives you some ideas. Um, you know, the best thing about it for me in this usage is I'm going to tune my notes in here. Okay, so I hope that gives you some ideas and some understanding.